All right, welcome to your next lesson here on Modern Lessons. What we are going to talk about are the Messages app, the Calendar app, Contacts, Reminders, and Notes app. All these are pre-installed, and as you can see on the top of your screen, right up here, see this first row? That is all the pre-installed stuff that'll come on your new iPad that you have right now. So no matter what kind of iPad you have, iPad mini or iPad regular, whatever you want to call it, the big one, um, all that stuff is already there. So we're going to walk through it. Uh, you can ignore the rest of the icons for now. We're going to be touching on those in a later modern lesson. So for now, we're going to start on the very top left. So see the green one right here? Messages. First, you have to go into settings and set up your messages app where basically you can put in your phone number and all this stuff will be asked of you when you're setting up your iPad for the first time. So assuming this is all set up, you can go into messages and it will give you all the text messages that you've been having, which is pretty fun. Um, you can go in and do just about anything and it works just as if you were texting on your iPhone. So here are all the iDevices that you can write to yourself on. Um, so basically if someone writes to you or text messages you um, from an iPhone, it'll get displayed on the iPad. And if, they, if you write back on your iPad, it'll show up on their iPhone. Um, it'll also show up any, on any other I, Apple I device they have. In other words, any message that you sent can be viewed on an iPad, an iPod Touch, or an iPhone, and even on the latest versions of your Mac, on your desktop Mac. So that means that this messages tool is really useful and it's just another way to message people. So you can text message to your heart's content. So you can just go in here, you can hit new, and it'll have your contacts all ready. So we'll just write to Katie right there. And it's as simple as like as that. And you can just type away. Um, so we're not gonna bother with doing any of that. But in the meantime, you can move on to the next tool, which is the calendar. So calendar is a great way to really store everything that's going on in your day. Um, they have a skeuomorphic design here, which means it's sort of meant to look like fake leather or real leather, I guess, digital leather, we'll call it. Um, and it's supposed to be warm and inviting and stuff, but in the new operating system that Apple is about to unveil, it's, it might look a little different. It's, it's probably gonna be flatter according to Apple and it's going to be a little different, but in the, for the most part, all the functions should be the same. So what can you do with it? You can view it in a different format, which is great. Um, you can have multiple calendars here, so you have, you have tons of them. You can view it in week format. Uh, you can have a month format year, which is also handy, and it sort of gets read as you have a lot of events happening. So you can see I was apparently busy in late February and most of March. <laughs> Um, and then my favorite is just the list format and you can scroll along and it'll tell you everything that's happening for the upcoming foreseeable future. And then on the right side, you can see over here that it just gives you the hour by hour happenings that's going on. So I usually leave it in list view. Um, and if you want to scrub back and forth, you can use the bottom right here and see it does the little like page flip for you, all kinds of good stuff. Um, you'll get invitations and all everything that you could ever want but for the most part calendar is pr pretty straightforward and it'll set up as long as you set up an email account so if you've set up gmail or icloud or really any outlook or other email service it'll come with a calendar and you can just start using this calendar app just like you see it on mine right now next thing is contacts so the ipad does not make a call because otherwise you'd look like this making a call which is pretty amazing um, i wouldn't recommend it but you can use skype and that kind of stuff but you still want to have your contact list you want to have a contact list so you can email people remember when i was starting to text and i punched in the letter k it showed a bunch of people whose names start with k uh, for contacts you can just tap on that and it'll automatically import stuff from Gmail or all your other emails, basically. And you can just scroll through 
and that's pretty fun. Um, apparently, I did a lot of Craigslist spam things. I got um, that's always fun. In any case, your contact list is viewable in both formats and it looks just like a book. Again, that's skeuomorphic design, uh, but that doesn't really matter. You can always tap, tap, touch on the bottom right here and that will let you add in a new contact. So you can just punch in all that information, hit add a photo, and it'll say choose a photo. So we'll just choose that and you can do all this good stuff and you can add in any kind of info you want. So all this stuff is meant to be very simple to use, but you just may not have known it was there. So we'll just hit the home button and go back out of this. The next thing we want to talk about is Reminders, which is still a relatively new uh, app for iPads. Um, you can sort of have a task or use it as a reminder list for um, shopping, for grocery shopping, or for really any kind of to-do list that you want to manage. I found it to be really useful. Um, you can sort it by completed and what you have to do today. You can easily create a new list. So let's call this a test. And now you can just touch right here on this and it'll just give you a list. Say, hello, and then we'll hit return and we'll just add in another task. Say goodbye. There we go. And once you do it, you can tap on it right here and you can get some more information about it, which is pretty pretty easy to do. And once you complete it, you can tap on the little box and it'll check it off as having been completed. So this is really handy and you can navigate over to different months as you see on the bottom left. Um, it's just a really great tool to use. I feel like a lot of people don't talk about it or use it too much. Uh, and the final thing is notes, which is very simple to do. Um, notes is literally a notepad. Uh, again, with the skeuomorphic design, see this part right here? It looks like a yellow pad that has some paper ripped out of it, which is great. Um, basically, notes are as, as if you have a digital white pad uh, or notepad that you want to write stuff down on. So you just tap on the top right, and what that does is open up a new pad. So we'll say hello again. But this is, a, let's say, a notepad. So we also want to put in some tasks. So we'll say buy new iPad, take a modern lesson. Okay, so pretty straightforward. You can tap this bottom right button right here and that'll hide the screen. And so you, the best thing about the notepad right now is you can tap the little bottom button right here and that will offer to share. So you can mail yourself the notes, copy, print, you can even text message it right from your iPad to other people. So if your spouse is at the food store and you want to make the grocery list while they're driving there, you can do that and then text it right to them and then they can have it. So that's about it. Uh, that's the basics of the top five apps. We'll be going over the next apps from Clock and Maps to iTunes and all that good stuff in the next Modern Lesson. Thanks for watching.